This is Ralph Engel Sat Arena back again for year 21. It's the home of North Dakota hockey. Nearly 12,000 fans inside this grand venue once again to see it all get started tonight. Look at that picked up by, He's such a silky player. Former Chicago Steel standout. That shot comes in, knocked down. The rebound there in front. Blake lurking in good areas. Who is it going to be to stand up and step up to take that? I got my money on Schmaltz. North Dakota, the top faceoff team in the NCHC and number three in the country a season ago. There are a lot of North Dakota rules that have come from the rules committee in recent seasons. As that shot comes in, Murphy was out of the blue paint. Gaber nearly took advantage. But that's on by Evans Hope. Great find in front. Jammernick, point blank range. Maybe a little too close to Murphy that time. But Murphy's been real good here in this first period. Evan Skaleski knocked off it by Jammernick. Oh, open man in front, it comes all the way to the top, and it's in the back of the net. Mitch Dyke from the point. Just like they did in 2019, it is Manitoba who strike first. Is Jander looking for another one here. Griffin Ness in front. Griffin Ness with the answer here. The junior forward able to pounce on the loose puck, and it's 1-1. Well, what you're going to see in this replay, this is uh, Murphy's playing this puck to slide over. Watch this. It hits that skate on the defenseman right there in front off of Manitoba. It hits Samuel Stewart's skate. Goaltender sliding from his left over to his right. Watch this right here. It's going to hit the skate on number two right there, and it pounces right to Griffin Ness, who's doing a good job of driving. And then Brent Murphy, just in the second season, he's going to be tested again now as Brent Johnson comes in. The follow-up chance there by Gaber after the puck squirted away from the sophomore. Have to be ready now, a three-on-two chance the other way. Payne over to McLaughlin. Blake. Oh. Look at the moves here by Jackson Blake. Murphy able to get the stop. Two. Let's go to on the attack right off the bat. Costantini follow up there. Jake Schmaltz. That did not take long, 21 seconds into period number two, and it's the sophomore who pulls UND in front. Well, I love this uh, shot selection right here. You're going to see just using that defenseman as a screen. Shoot that far pad right there, a rebound pops out, and it's a good job by Jake Schmaltz driving to the net. So a couple similar plays you see right there. It's a block shot, quick shot right here, gets off that left far pad and you got Schmaltz driving to the net with a purpose and puts it into an essence. Brett Davis will play it out wide to Skaleski finding his man De Ritter able to knock the puck high in the air where it is picked up by Ben Strinden back to Haynes has a man it's Clevin joining the play Murphy to save as Ports seconds it brings off high Thiessen will send it in front to Ritter not sure if you saw that one not clear in the ends man to get used to playing at this level Good win by Strinden, finding James, right on cue, Dylan James! Freshman to freshman, and it's 3-1. to one. Well, we've been talking about McLaughlin and uh, Blake so much of being the guys here, and look at here, a couple freshmen connect. This is just a great job off the faceoff. I talked about who's going to be that guy that steps up in the dot. A good job there by Strinden, and that's just a good job. Drive that net, use those defense. Starting spot along with the Ritter. But this is again a great opportunity for some individuals to make their claim as Clevin. Tyler Clevin, top shelf. Are you watching this, Ottawa? Four to one, North Dakota. The K train on the store sheet. Well, you did. You knew it wasn't going to take long. I mean, he had three shots there in the first couple periods, and here just a good job. He told Rags that forward and look at how quick he elevates this like with authority everything he does is kind of hard and really good like right there just quick hands a good job just getting that apologies for bringing up those old memories <laughs> no I had a feel I knew the answer now it's two on nine Hain with Jandrick with him Chris Jandrick in the back of the net not much Brett Murphy could do about that one to one North Dakota, the fifth year defenseman getting in on the act. Well, this is going to be an even strength 
goal. I mean, that's what I talk about the pretty play. It's a spinorama, but what an unselfish play right here. Gavin Hain, you can just turn and burn and go in all alone. Nope, he's going to be a good friendly teammate. He sees he's got Jandrick with him. Just a good job of making sure you hold that goaltender. They'll just have to make a couple here. He's been good. Another stop now as Johnson gets down. Perhaps maybe just putting himself in the conversation as someone who needs to. And they bring in DeRitter. But now here's Gaber coming forward, shorthanded over to Ports. Good. He keeps the puck on his stick over to Jamernick, right out of the box. Harlock stopped that with his foot. I that just hit him. He didn't even. Now a chance here, shorthanded as Caulfield picks up the pieces. Judd Caulfield, good save by Harlock. Jamernick was. They got to clean up, but again, it gives you a body of work to go off of. Good poke check here. Dylan James coming in. The freshman, no off the pipe. And Time winding down. Good for Caleb Johnson, by the way. Nice job in his 20 minutes of action. Five to one will be your final. Fireworks and a good start to the 2022-2023 season for North Dakota.